So today we're going to talk about element six, identifying critical information. The teacher continuously identifies accurate critical content during a lesson and the part or a part of a lesson that portrays a clear progression of information that leads to deeper understanding of the content. So our desired effect is that students know what content is important and what is not important. So our teacher actions that we're looking for, uh, teachers are identifying critical content. You're telling the students what content is uh, key content and important. Um, they're going to be able to identify and we're looking for the evidence that students can explain. That means you have to have them talking. They can explain why it's important or why it is not important. We're, we're looking for the majority of the students being able to do uh, this and uh, show the desired effect um, overall. They also need to be able to talk about the importance of and levels of importance of this information. Some different ways you can do that. They can use uh, anchor charts is a great way of visual for the students. They're able to look at the anchor charts and then go back and explain what the anchor charts, uh, why that information is important to them as well. Um, you can use raising and lowering your voice and that voice tones and those kinds of things. But just bear in mind, it's really important that the students understand why you're changing your voice tone at that time, that this is important information and they're able to verbalize that. You can use pause time um, to be able to do this as well and direct your students in thinking about the content. So students should be actively thinking about it. So um, identifying critical information is something that we should be seeing every time we are entering your classrooms. All right, guys, there's no exit slip for today, um, but I want you just to be thinking about your teaching. Thank you so much. Have a great day.